All right, this next one is called Orlando, playing at the Garrick Theatre in London. I saw it in December 2022, and of course, noticeably, as you can see, it has Emma Corrin. No, she's not even in that picture, but, uh, uh, oh well. Let's get the other photo. This is the stage. Um, it's, yeah, the sets are going to be very, very minimalistic, which is fine for something like this. It actually worked uh, well. It's, I liked it, I guess, my summary. I would um, recommend seeing it. It's not for everyone, I, I think. Um, it's very, especially if you know, I would say research the what the it's about. Um, maybe even a summary of the novel first. That would make that way you just make sure. Okay, it's it's for it's okay. It's like um, it's for me. It's just not for everybody. Um, it's uh, I, I read the book in college, and uh, I actually I like the book. It's a Virginia Woolf book. It uh, kind of follows um, this guy girl orlando i i say that in this case because it actually there's some transitions that go on um yeah so it follows uh emma corn's character through hundreds of years through changes and just life and uh yeah it doesn't it's sort of um there's no i mean there are how do i say it there are uh, there's a plot i guess to some degree it does not really have kind of a plot moving story and most some most of the time i think i would like what i'm not that that's terrible but in this case i think it, it's okay it's sort of a not plot plot driven i should say i can't even think of the word for it. plot it's not really a plot driven story there's no real objective on her quest but um it's still i mean there is i i can see people saying yeah of course there is well yeah but not it's hard to explain anyway i liked it I, it's a it's a cool it uses um a bit of the old school greek well really old school the greek chorus so there's like a bunch of virginia wolves on stage um uh, just a bunch of different women playing virginia wolf and there's emma corin playing orlando and then her sidekick or kind of her but almost like a butt functions as a butler um and that just follows her through the hundreds of years of her life so it's Obviously, it's kind of fantastical because people don't live hundreds of years. But uh, yeah, and Emma Corrin, she does a great job. It's like uh, she kind of care if you can carry a show uh, like that. And you've probably seen her if you watch The Crown. She played, uh, what was that character? Um, Princess Diana. And uh, she was in a couple other things, too. Very, getting very popular as an actress. So uh, it's kind of worth it to see her um, perform. And I was in like the th second row. So... Yeah, very close. Uh, very, very close. Second row, yeah. It's like, wow, I didn't realize I even bought it. So uh, close. Uh, just to be noted, there's no intermission. It's 90 minutes. It does feel a little short. It's like, okay, but don't extend it out. I just wondered why it wasn't longer. Um, but I guess it told the story in that amount of time. So that is an interesting thing. So you're going to be kind of in and out pretty quickly. But it's okay. That worked for me. Uh, Emma Corrin... Orlando, uh, I, I'd recommend it, but just, yeah, research it first to make sure um, it's for you because it's not for everybody, but it was for me. I was, that was cool. I enjoyed it. It was on my top four. I, I I think I just have to have a top four, so I can't get a top three because then one of the ones I really liked, I'd have to kick out. I don't want to do that. All right. Cheers.